Downtown Dallas looking to get a multi-billion dollar facelift. This is a big decision. Council today approving plans to move forward on building a new convention center that aims to do a whole lot more than just court visitors. Uh, Robbie Owens live for you tonight. Dallas City Hall with some details on this monumental decision. Robbie. Well, Doug, there's a lot to like in what's being promised. A third deck park, this one connecting with the Cedars neighborhood, a completely reimagined space around the convention center that even locals will enjoy. And the best part, visitor taxes are supposed to pay for it. Some would say we're getting a little too close to too good to be true. New, bright, and shiny should be an easy sell in Dallas. I see this as nothing but a win all around. Especially if visitors are expected to pick up the tab. Um, just as we've seen downtown Dallas evolve over the past decade, uh, this is going to be one of those game changers. The Dallas City Council in a near unanimous vote, allowing staffers to continue pursuing plans to build a new convention center and reimagine the area that surrounds it, using trolleys to connect the city's southern edge with other downtown jewels. What could possibly go wrong? Is we really don't know what's going to happen in the future with conventions. COVID's changed travel, it's changed the workplace. The lone voice of dissent, or perhaps call it caution, District 12's Kara Mendelson. Other experts, too, warning against the field of dreams approach to finances. Just because you build it does not mean the dollars will come. Well, Robbie, even before the pandemic, uh, convention center usage had been in decline for quite some time. And, and now that people have become more comfortable with virtual meetings and businesses have become more comfortable with the lower, uh, reduced tra travel costs of having virtual meetings, uh, I think it's unreasonable to expect that demand is going to come anywhere near to what it was before the pandemic. SMU Cox School of Business economist Dean Stanzel says he understands the upside of bright and shiny, but he's encouraging taxpayers to ask tough questions of city leaders about whether there is, in fact, another way. The details are more complicated than that, of course, because if, if the, uh, the hotel revenues were, were to fall short, then, then the taxpayers are on the hook for paying back those bonds. And the center built, well, they ought to go out and find private investors who think that that's a profitable use of those dollars. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.